What's up guys, welcome back to another thrifting video. We are outside a half uh, rethink thrift where it's half off day. They just opened and everyone's running inside. So hopefully we can find something to flip. First find are gonna be these Allegrias for $3. I don't always pick up Allegria, but when they have like cool uh, you know, styles like this, they usually sell for like 20 to 25. Alright, so I didn't get this at full price for three, but at a dollar fifty it's gonna go for about twelve dollars plus shipping. Nothing crazy, but can OEM can and stuff does sell well. And I thought this was gonna be good. Some Honeywell thermostats, new sealed, can be worth lots of money. This one's only worth about twenty, so even at seven fifty it's just not worth it. So up here are some kids ski boots for five. And even though there's, you know, the letters are kind of fading, it's Rossignol. Rossignol is a really good brand. And kids ski boots sell really well for me, surprisingly. I should get about 45 for these. Some Sorel winter boots, just a basic model, but they should go for about 45 and they're gonna be 750. So don't pass up on belts. I saw this logo, that's Ariat. Ariat belts can be, or just any, belts can be really good money especially if they have a cool design this is a really nice leather one by aria it's going to be 350 if i had to guess that's probably a 30 dollars belt maybe more okay so this is a new brand for me uh day day lie d-a-e-h-l-i-e -E. it's like a ski team uh jacket it's gonna be five bucks and it looks like it sells anywhere between 30 and 50 dollars pretty consistently so okay so some snowshoes can be worth good money these ll bean winter walkers would be worth it if it was like you know peak season but for 12.50 and it being the end of the season they only sell for about 40 so they'd probably sit all year okay so i was here yesterday and did really well you guys have already seen that video um not bad i spent 20 dollars and 50 cents there it was supposed to be 25.50 but as per usual i have a five dollar off card so not bad the Ariad belt will make me the money back on their own I think each item will make me back all the money and put me in the profit on its own. So overall, good stop. Now we're off to Goodwill. All right, guys, now we're at Goodwill in Belgrade, Montana. Right off the bat are some Nike Air Max, and they're only six bucks, surprisingly. I mean, they're definitely worn. I don't know, I'll put them in the cart and think about them. Six bucks is just so cheap. And then some Merrells for 10. They're dirty, creased. Mm. Oh, that's peeling there. Never mind. Okay, I also just pulled off these uh, Solomon X Wave ski boots in a really big size. The bigger, the better with ski boots. These are probably going to be a hundred dollar boots, and they are fifteen. Okay, so this golf bag caught my eye. It's only thirteen dollars for all of it. This is what caught my eye first. Adams Golf is a pretty decent brand. Nothing crazy, but I mean. The rest of these are just junk, really. There's another Adams, but yeah, I don't know. I don't want to pay 13 bucks and have to throw away most of these clubs, except for that one. And here we go again with another eye clicker too. It's every single time I come here, almost I find one of these $20 bill easily. Over in the women's shoes, I just found these Vans platform shoes. Like they're the uh, what are these? The Vans old school platform for only eight. Those are definitely 40 bucks. A little dirty. But once I clean them up, yeah, $8 into 40 pretty quickly. I'm probably going to leave this behind for $7, but Woolrich is a good brand. Anything Woolrich that's made of wool sells really well. This is a good design. This probably would sell for $25. I just don't want to deal with it. Oh, yeah. This is a score, some La Sportiva rock climbing shoes, and it's a good model. These should sell very quickly for $45 to $50. And the white stuff on them is just chalk. You use a lot of chalk when climbing. We have a climbing gym here in Montana that I go to and it's a lot of fun, but that's just, that's an easy cleanup. You just wipe them down and they look brand new. We got a nice Burton ski snowboard jacket for seven. That's a really good deal. That should go for about 50. Okay, $36 spent there. I'll get 20 back just from the eye clicker very quickly. Um, the Sol not the Solomon, the La Sportiva climbing shoes. Those will also sell very quickly, get to me all my money back. And yeah, sorry I'm not doing uh, recaps today like I normally do, like where I'm putting the stuff in the trunk and going over stuff in more detail. I just don't have time today. I'm a little rushed. Uh, I gotta get back, do some shipping. I gotta make this video. And we're having friends over tonight doing like a little house party with pizza and wings. So it'll be fun, but just a little rushed. I also might as well take this moment to 
remind you that every 1,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a four pack of American Bubble Boy Bubble Wrap. Bu blah, blah, blah. Bubble Boy Bubble Wrap. Uh, so make sure you're subscribed for a chance to win. We're over halfway to the next subscriber giveaway. And yeah, even if you know you don't need bubble wrap, you know, you could you could help me out and subscribe. Just just an idea. Okay, next stop is Four Corners Thrift Store. Hopefully we're able to run in here and find some good stuff to flip for a profit. All right, so here's some Brooks for 10. Uh, maybe they're here in half off day. The Glycerin 18, I'm pretty sure is an older Glycerin model. Um, but yeah, I don't want to pay 10 just for the condition. If they make it a half off day, I'll get them though. Some Sauconies, but for 15, that's just too much. Half off day, I'll get them if they make it. Okay, so I got to look more into this. This is a Chamberlain garage door opener. So if it's, they want 50 for it. If it's new, it goes for like 50, or not 50, uh, 200 to 230. Okay. Let me look into this a little more and get back. Okay, so after going through it, it appears to be new. It just has some box damage. So for $50, it's obviously paying up, but if I can turn this into 200 and it has a really good sell-through rate, I'm going to get it. Okay, so one thing I've learned that can be very valuable is commercial door openers, like the hinges. And this one, it's $8. I think it's new. I'm pretty sure it's new. Uh, if it is, it looks like I can get about 40 plus shipping for it. So... Yeah, some of these can be really good money. Okay, guys, I'm not sure if I'm crazy or not for considering this. I probably am. <laughs> Hear me out, okay? What if I bought this mattress just for these? <laughs> yeah, I know. Crazy. But, but. Sleep yeah. number, right? So this remote alone is worth about $80. It's 40 bucks for the whole setup. This, the pump, is worth roughly 150 to 175. So what's that, 40 into like 250? But then I have to get rid of the mattress. That's the hard part. Is it worth it? Probably give it away on Facebook Marketplace or just take it to the dump, but I mean, 40 bucks into two, 250, maybe a little bit more. I might be crazy. But then I have to come back here with my truck. I mean, it's only 10 minutes from my house. I don't know. If you guys ever see sleep number stuff in the wild, just the remotes, pick them up. Okay, okay, you're right. I'm not gonna do it, but I should, but I'm not. I always come back here in hopes of finding games, but we have some DVD seasons going on over here, so I'm going to do some more research on these, look them up, see if they're complete, see if they're worth it, because there are a lot of DVD sets worth really, really good money. Okay, so DVDs are $2 each, so it would be $10 for Elias, season 1 through 5, that is a complete series. It looks like I could get between $35 and $40 plus shipping. I might do it. Okay, so both of these are still here on half off day. They're new sealed and they're five bucks a piece. So if they make it a half off day, they'll be two fifty, and they go for about twenty a piece, free shipping. So, all right, I'm just gonna wait till half off day on these. If they're still here, I'll get them. Ten bucks is just, I don't know. I don't know how. I'm not gonna check all the discs right now. So if they're five bucks, I'll definitely buy it. Okay, it's a little heavy. It didn't look as heavy as it is, but it's pretty heavy. Okay. Not a bad stop. 50 bucks into 200. Uh, yeah, can't really beat it. I left stuff behind. If it's still there on half off day, it'll be a good deal. Just a little more than I want to pay right now. And we are off to the next one. All right, guys, we are now downtown Bozeman over at Saks Thrift Store. We're finding her some L.L. Bean like loafer boat shoes for five. Not bad. Nothing crazy, but they'll sell for 25. All right, how much are these bad boys? Not, uh, is that, that's nine. I mean, still, nine bucks for some Vibram Five Fingers in good condition. Those are probably 45 to 50 bucks right there. Those are probably my favorite shoes to sell just because of how quickly they sell and we're going into the season that they will sell fast. I got excited at first when I saw this, it's just a basic Lululemon tee for $7, but unfortunately it has some like marks there. I think that's bleach stain. So I'm gonna have to leave it behind. 
Now this, this is what I need for yard selling. This little <laughs> hairy belly button fanny pack for five. Oh man. I don't think Jess would go in public with me with it on though. Okay, just the two pairs of shoes, but for $14, you can't go wrong. Just the five fingers, you know, will trip all my money on their own. All right, we are off to the last thrift store of the day. But guess what, guys? Tomorrow is the community-wide yard sale here. It's probably not going to be in this video. Depending on how long this video is, because I well, was, you know, not that great of a thrifting day. I might include one or two yard sales after this thrift store. You guys will know. I don't know yet, but we'll see. Okay, last stop of today is Do-Overs Thrift. Okay, these are cool. I don't know if they're worth anything, but like these fireball lights. They're 20 a piece. So I doubt they're going to be worth that much, but they are cool. Okay, so it's looking like I can get between 50 and 60 for them. Some sell a little bit lower, some a little higher. So for 20, I'm just going to leave them behind. But over here, while I was looking them up, this caught my eye. How much are they? Ah, 40. Darn. If these were 20, I would pay for them. These are in really good condition, too. These are probably $80 shoes, but I'm not going to pay 40. Alrighty, we just found a score, though this model of A6 is worth 20. Uh, these go for about 80 to 100. A little dirty, but I will clean those up for, you know, 80 bucks in profit. Some van, uh, 15, I'm not going to pay 15 for vans. This is a really good model. It's a Park Project Ultra Range. They usually go for about 40 to 5, and yeah, just going to leave them. Some nikes oh this is a good model they're only 15 i think because they're youth yep youth size 7 but that is a perfect size to sell as a woman's 8.5 and they're in really really good condition let me look them up i haven't looked them up yet but i did just notice they do have some rubbing there so they are gonna have to be worth pretty good money for me to get them all right looks like i could get between 65 and 70 for them in this condition maybe 50 Mm. If you guys see this model, it does sell really well. I think I'm going to leave them behind just because of that. Yeah, darn. Okay, I ended up just getting the A6, which are still a score for 20 That's a $100 bill right there. But now i got to find some plush for Hank and Raya. Hmm. You would definitely tear that one apart. That was a little grubby. Sock monkey. I think he would like the sock monkey. Or the ninja turtle. I could just take both. Give him one at a time. Alright, not too bad of a way to wrap up the day. Adult ski boots 15, kid ski boots 10, ski poles for. I'll probably get some of these ski boots for 10. Those? Mm -hmm. I'll probably get all of these ones. I'm gonna get these five. Two, yeah, these five. No. Huh? No.
I've got a little pile right there. I'm going to get five of the ski boots oh, and then the horses. I'm okay. still looking, but great. No, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, we'll just, if you see anybody digging, just haul right there. <laughs> that's fine. Do you have twins? I have twins. I'm a twin. You know those memes? Um, twins. Like, twins. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ye
Perfect. 63. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. I hope you, have a yeah, you as well. Hold it. You need more bags. Oh, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. $63 on everything. Just tons of briar horses. I don't need the bus or that tent, but like probably 30 horses. I know Playmobil stuff can be valuable. I'm not sure. Uh, and 10 bucks a piece for these Del Bello ski boots is paying up, but they sell really well, kid ski boots do. They're in really good condition. I should get roughly 45 to 50 per pair. So for 63, can't beat it.